Now at 5.30, a new report is blasting the 2011 overhaul of the state's pension system. Rhode Island General Treasurer Gina Raimondo was dr the driving force behind the pension reform law. Raimondo is expected to run for governor next year, and she's calling the report a political attack. It is our top local story at 5.30 tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with the details. The state's largest union for public employees is asking the SEC to launch an investigation into pension investments in the state. And today they released a report claiming some of those pension practices may be illegal. Our employees. AFSCME Rhode Island Council 94 wants the SEC to investigate the state's pension practices because of this document, a 105-page report about an investigation conducted by former SEC attorney Ted Sedell. The documents refer to uh, practices which are arguably illegal. The report claims the employee retirement system has, quote, secretly agreed to permit hedge fund managers to keep the state pension system in the dark. This investigation that I've conducted in Rhode Island is one of the most difficult I've ever done because there, we're dealing with both conflicts of interest and a high degree of secrecy, not only related to the pension fund, but also related to the treasurer herself. That's unique. Eyewitness News went straight to General Treasurer Gina Raimondo for her response. This report has been produced by an out-of-town person who's being paid tens of thousands of dollars to take political attacks at me for one reason, because we reform the state's pension system. And we can't go backwards. We reform that system because we had a system in crisis, and if we didn't fix it, people wouldn't have gotten pensions. If you want to read the complete report for yourself, we posted it on our website, WPRI.com. In North Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.